Ooh, we're on. What's up, Ethosians? So, I'm going to show you guys what I use to add captions. <clears throat> now, I usually use Final Cut Pro 10. That way you can change all the fonts and all the background, the opacity, and um, you can pretty much place them anywhere. Um, you can even change the resolution size, the ratio, aspect ratio. But if you don't use Final Cut Pro 10, um, this Movavi, what's it called? Mo, Movavi Converter MP4. I usually, I originally used this just to convert my videos from MOV to MP4. But if you check this out, it turns out you can you can where's all my videos you can actually add captions and especially you can add the position of the captions melody quiet you can actually add where is my video that i just saved it's not that one Okay. No, not that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just do this one. So, this is a video um, that usually would be uh, MOV, but you got to remember guys, the easier you make it for your um, devices to transfer data, MP4 seems to be a really fast one. You can upload really fast to YouTube. You can air, airdrop between your devices super easy with MP4. A lot of the MOV files won't even move. They're just super heavy. So, see here, you can, um, there's no subtitles. Um, you can add. So I'm going to add, um, you, will, you will have already uh, downloaded your SRT file from Rev. Um, you can change the quality, you can go super low res if you, it's just a really quick Facebook uh, video or you can go super high quality if um, you're smashing it onto YouTube, Instagram. So best quality. We've got the um, caption file. Now check this out. So when you edit, see how the, the caption file is right there for you? We can actually go to subtitles and you can position this any way you want. Vertically, you can top. Um, once you're at the top, you can actually change the position of where you want it to go. So it gives you a little bit of flexibility. It's not the best um, tool, but if you just want something that has a little bit of flexibility and you don't want to use Final Cut Pro 10 or Adobe, then check this out. <clears throat> so I've, I've got it embedded as well, which is a really bad example, but... If I was to do this, here we go. So we can pretend the other one's not there. We can place it there if we want. But you know, you get what I mean. You can you can play with the position. Um, you can also play with um, how dark or light it is. Uh, no, sorry, that's Final Cut Pro 10. So this is bare bones. This is just you know, get it on there, change the position to where you want it to be. Like there's a pretty crap position, you want to center it. So like I would put it pretty much there. Um, simply apply. And um, I mean, Final Cut Pro 10 is probably a good investment if you're doing tons of videos. Um, once you've done that, 
check out just make sure everything's correct you've got the best quality on you want to check you want to download it to your desktop <clears throat> you can even like format this towards an, an iPhone X capability this just makes it like easier recognizable for your iPhone X apply boom hope that helps guys cheers until the next one and also if you guys need videos, hit me up.